In this dwarf planet of a box next to me, there is a replica of the gaming system used by none other than penguins, aka Moist Critical, aka that guy from the Hunger Games. Now, it's not the exact one, it's not gonna have like his fluids on it or whatever, but it's close enough. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna take it out of the box, we're gonna try and tear it down without breaking it because well, I do have to send it back and it is quite valuable. And then we're gonna see how it runs. Now, I don't normally have pre-built companies send PCs over because I want to be able to compare them to like diphtheria without getting an email about how it is inappropriate. But when Artisan Builds reached out and said that they can send me Mr. Penguins' gaming system, I just couldn't say no. Uh, so yeah, let's open it up and have a look at this beast. Wow, you really need to be a pro unboxer to get into this. That seems to be the first layer. Ooh, we've got some felt A action. Ooh, there's, there's a lot going on in here. Oh, I, I guess these are the boxes for all of the components. Oh yeah, that makes sense why the box is so huge then. Wait, that's a revolt. Does that mean that this is like two PCs in one? Here we have a Revolt X power supply box, which has clearly had a much harder life than I have. Uh, and it makes me think that maybe this is going to be a dual system PC, considering that, you know, that's the whole gimmick of this power supply. And then finally, we have the box with the case in it, which I'm pretty sure does not support dual systems. So that theory was very quickly squelched. There are probably safer ways to do this, but... <sighs> oh no. <sighs> oh, it's so heavy. Oh, things are going wrong. <sighs> okay, hopefully this is the last box I have to see in a while. Up here, it says moist custom case, which is very exciting. Oh no, I cut through what looks suspiciously like asbestos. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this thing out of the box. <laughs> Round two, fight. <laughs> so, oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> okay, please don't break the $7,000 PC. Damn. Ooh, look at that. We've got, we've got some moisture. Seems like the asbestos is doing a good job of keeping the PC nice and safe, so that's good. Ooh, that looks nice. Now the first thing that's really obvious from the system is that there is one metric butt-ton of RGB in here. I pity the person whose job it is to do all this wiring. Now this Lian Li O11 Dynamic has this custom wrap on it, which looks really amazing. Good choice, Mr. Penguins. On the front here, we've got a really good front I.O. with some extra USB ports in the bottom of the case here. On the rear side panel, you can really see that amazing wrap. I love the moisture and space. It looks so cool. Around the back, we've got some interesting wiring jobs here. I wonder what that's all for. But yeah, let's open this beast up and have a closer look inside. Now, of course, someone of Moist Critical's stature deserves a beast gaming system. Under this NZXT Z73 AIO, there is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, which is running in an Asus Crosshair Hero 9000 motherboard. Graphics card-wise, we have the overcompensatingly chonky EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3, which is such a thick GPU, it needs its own support brace. The power cables are Lee and Lee Strymore RGB cables that light up in conjunction with nine Corsair QL120 fans, so this PC should light up bright enough to disturb local air traffic navigation. And finally, Artesian Builds has added custom touches all over the place, including this moist GPU backlight. Although, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you're probably disappointed to see that this system doesn't have single channel RAM. Instead, we get this loser 64 gig configuration. Now, other than the RAM disappointment, this 
seems to be a display. I think that's what's kind of plugged into the back over here. That's pretty cool. I'm curious to see what kind of stuff you can show on there. Maybe we should try and game on the display in the case. And then finally around the back, the cable management is really good considering the epilepsy inducing amount of RGB in here. Although there is a lot of space to tuck stuff in, so that does help, but yeah, good job Artisan builds. There's a lot of controllers and stuff going on here. Again, I'm so glad I'm not the person that has to do all this wiring. But with that, let's close this system up, power it on, and see if Artisanal build installs any weird venereal bloatware. Now when you fire up the system, the first thing that you'll notice is that, uh, well, McAfee's not pre-installed on it. So right there, it loses three points from its final grading. Uh, what is really cool though, is that they do have like screenshots of it running IDA64 for over 20 hours. So that's really cool. It shows you that the system is stable for extended loads. Uh, they also have a screenshot of it passing superposition and they still left the software installed on here uh, if you want to, to do those tests yourself. So that's, that's pretty cool, it's a nice touch. But no, this is, a, this is a great Windows install. Now before we try and game on this Leviathan e system, it's time for a shameless self-plug. Now if you've watched the last couple of videos, including this one, you would have noticed a very sexy man wearing these t-shirts, which are part of David Does merch that's launching today. So if you want some comfy clothes and you want to support the channel, go check out the link in the description below where we offer free international shipping. Thank you very much, Anna, for designing the merch and the website. Uh, but now, let's try and game on the system the way that Artesian builds intended. Now, the gaming experience on this system is obviously spectacular, which isn't surprising with this kind of power. And the fact that you have this majestic display just mounted in the case really helps the portability of the system. At this point, it's basically a high-performance laptop. Now, I only have one complaint. It's, it's very minor, but um, the laser light show in this case does kind of blow out the display quite a lot. So um, it, it's not the easiest thing to see what I'm doing here, but that's just one of the prices you need to pay for extreme portability. And I've been told that this is actually how Moist Critical games on his PC. Oh, is that a person? I don't know. But in all seriousness, obviously the gaming performance of the system is complete madness. But we knew that going into it, right? It's got some of the most powerful hardware on the planet in it, which means it absolutely rips through whatever game or productivity use case you throw at it. And for the kiddos wondering, yes, you can play Fortnite on it. Actually, on the note of Fortnite, I was actually really surprised at how good Fortnite looks with the settings cranked. Like, yeah, it, it looks more impressive than I thought. Although it is still quite stuttery despite the high frame rate. So I think that's like server lag related issues. Oh yeah, actually on a very nerdy note, my favorite part of the system is the rear IO. Asus Crosshair Hero motherboards have the best rear IO ever. Look at all that USB and those ethernet ports and mmm. So in conclusion, Mr. Moist Penguin, you have a real amazing gaming system. Um, although, considering that we're at the end of the video, I feel like I should very irrelevantly give you my opinion on the system. Yeah, it's really impressive. Although the, the seizure inducingness of it is, is not quite my cup of tea, it reminds me a little bit of like a raised Ford F-150 Raptor pickup. Like, yeah, I guess it's technically very impressive, but I don't know if I'd buy one. Um, that's probably not what Artesian Builds wants me to say here now. They'd probably want me to talk about how it's like doubled my libido since it's been in the house. Uh, which it has, it has. Just not quite in the way that I've liked, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> Although I will say I really like the design of the wrap. Um, I really like the, the, the moisture droplet in space. It's pretty cool. Uh, the same goes for the backplate design. I would have preferred it if it was just like on a bit of metal as opposed to like RGB acrylic. But I think I just have PTSD from all of my RGB wiring I've had to do in my life. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it. Thank you very much, Artesian Builds, for sending this monster out to me. I'll try and get it back in the box without breaking it or myself. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos uh, not quite like this. Usually the PCs are a lot more terrible. So if you're into that, uh, yeah, do subscribe. And until the next video, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.